So transformations and matrices, and um, I just want to go back to the previous video very quickly. What did we do? You got a particular uh, object, a triangle, and they gave you a matrix, and you had to do a transformation under that matrix M, and then you multiplied each, ver each vertex by this transformation, and then you got the image, okay? But what are we going to do now? Now you are given the object and the image, and you have to find the um, the matrix, okay? Now, what do you have to do in order to find that? First of all, you have to analyze the situation and decide what type of transformation has happened, okay? So before I, I can construct the matrix involved, I have to look at, okay, what type of transformation is this? Now, is this a road? Is it an enlargement? No, uh, is, it, is it a translation? Well, almost, but it's, it's flipped, eh? so it's not a rotation, no, it is a reflection. So I'm going to write down yeah, for myself that this is a reflection. And of course with a reflection you need another piece of information, the mirror line. And what is the mirror line? That is the y-axis. Eh? So uh, the line x is a zero, okay? That is not a negative sign, that is just like that, okay? So it's a reflection in line x equals zero. And how do I decide upon the matrix? Okay, now some teachers tell you how you're going to memorize the matrices belonging to a particular reflection, but I think that's a very bad idea. Okay, remembering is something you do for French yeah, or geography, but not for maps. You know that all the matrices for transformations will be a two by two matrix. Yeah? So let me just put those four dots there, yeah, and I'm just going to put in some numbers now on the dots. And this is how you are going to do it. You're going to evaluate for two particular points. Yeah, so just a sketch. You're going to evaluate for two points what happens to those points after re a reflection in the y-axis. Okay, what do I mean with that? First of all, you're going to do it for this point, yeah, which is point uh, one zero. If I write that as a column vector, yeah, one zero, what will happen with this point after a reflection in the y-axis? Yeah? And that's why I said it's important that you first determine the type of transformation happening. Yeah? I know it's a reflection in the y-axis, so what will happen with this point after a reflection in the y-axis? It's going to be on the other side, isn't it? It's going to be here. Okay? And that is point minus one, uh, zero. Do you agree? So as a column vector, after the transformation, it is going to be minus one, zero. I'm gonna, I said I'm, you're going to do that for two points, because you're also going to do it for this point. Yeah? So first I do it horizontally, and then vertically. Yeah? That is point, uh, what is that, 0, 1. So as a column vector, 0, 1. And after the transformation, which you first of all determine to be a reflection in the y-axis, where is this point going to be? Well, it's still going to be there, okay? Because if this is the mirror line, yeah, that point is exactly on the mirror line, so it's not really going to do anything. So after the reflection, 0, 1 is still going to be at 0, 1. Okay, so what is the matrix now yeah, that describes this particular uh, transformation? That is minus 1, 0. I'm just going to put it in here now. Minus 1, 0. 0, minus 1, 0, minus... Uh, not 0, minus 1. Uh, 0, 1, 0, 1. Yeah, so again, you put in this one, minus 1, 0, and that one, 0, 1, and that is your answer. Now, um, I have another video about this, yeah, so don't worry too much. Yeah? You can have a look at another example question. But just to show you that this is not uh, just some trick or whatever, let's just have a look at this point. Yeah? Point, uh, what is the coordinate? 2, 1. Okay, just to check if that answer is actually correct. Yeah. If I would multiply that point by the matrix, minus 1, 0, 0, 1. If I would multiply it to 1, yeah, what should I get? Then I should get the coordinate of that point. Yeah, because if I multiply a particular point by the matrix, I get its image point. Yeah, now let's see if that is true. So, minus 2 plus 0. 0 plus 1. So minus 2, 1. Does that point go to minus 2, 1? Minus 2, 1. Yes, indeed. Yeah. So actually it proves 
for that point anyway, but trust me, if you do that for all three points, it proves that this matrix is the correct matrix describing this particular transformation. So again, you decide upon the type of transformation, then you evaluate for that transformation two points, one zero and zero one, and you have a look at what happens with that point after that particular transformation. Yeah, one zero in this situation becomes minus one zero, minus one zero, and the second point you do it, and you have to do it in this order, is zero one, and that will stay zero one, so there goes my zero one. Good. Explainingmaps.com uh, for more free resources. Um, like and share this video if it was useful for you so I can help your friends. Go to the next video for more examples. I'll see you then.